Hiya all, you wonderful wandering wonders in Oz. How's everybody going? It's planet Oz here. Well, we've got a lot to look forward to um, as far as the um, voting goes, I think. Uh, a lot of surprises in that. <laughs> Can't wait to see what happens, eh? But anyway, getting down to my little him ha niggle, there's a few things I want to talk about. And one I'm going to get off my chest is these protesters that, you know, are holding society at ransom when they go on their little rampages of, you know, doing something for the climate, which you're not doing anything for anybody. I think personally you're doing it to get noticed perhaps or do you have a problem you know psychologically because when you hold up society and do what you guys are doing it makes society resents you protesters and um, so rightly so too because you're not doing anything for society and as I said you're only getting recognized and thinking you'll make a name for yourself or you won't because unfortunately you're not doing it constructively you know if you were you'd write a letter or do something constructively and if you've been to university or you've had you know studies and so forth and a lot of these so-called you know protesters do um, then do something you know, get constructive with the um, studies and so forth and the knowledge, you know, instead of being destructive in society and holding society up, nobody appreciates that. And of course, society will resent you people. So now I've got that off my chest is, um, I wanna talk about Anthony Albanese. Look, I'm gonna say, it the way I am gonna say it. And I believe that we've given every other person, every other normal human being, a chance of being Prime Minister. And we've had a few. We've had, you know, backstabbings and whatever else and so forth. But all I'm saying is that give Anthony Albanese a chance. Just give him a chance, like we've given every other person that's become Prime Minister of Australia a chance. Just give him a chance, that's all, you know. And um, we might be very surprised, you know. But that's all I'm going to say on that point of view, that matter. This is only a very short tube, just to touch base with you guys, just to, you know, just to see, you know, how things are going and, and so forth and to let you in on a little surprise that I'm running on my channel. Um, and um, basically it's just that, touch down, talk about a few things we know that that is going on in society. There's no real news here, you know, new, new news, but it's news, you know. So basically that's all I want to do. And... Um, one thing I'm going to announce is that um, on my channel I have a lot of people now subscribing to me and that to me is thank you, you guys, it means a lot. And I want to show my appreciation in some way and I have now 95 subscribers and I love you, every single one of you guys. So what I want to do is reach out to you guys and other people that may come across my tube and find me interesting and you know comfortable to watch because I'm a normal Joe doing a normal thing for you guys out there you normal Joes you know but um, on my channel what I want to do is um, I've got five more uh, subscribers I've got to get before I get a hundred and that to me is a pretty big milestone believe you me I've been going for years on YouTube and I've got ads on YouTube I don't get paid for them, but I've got ads and, you know, 
so I've put a lot of work in to my channel. So what I want to do is, you know, to you guys, um, please subscribe, comment, and interact with my channel. And the most person that do interact and uh, come on board my channel, get involved with what I'm doing and so forth, and um, as I said, subscribes to my channel. At the end of that, um, on the 100th subscriber, I will give away a $50 petrol voucher and a $50 food voucher, whether it be Coles or Woolworths here in Oz, only here in Australia. So please think about that. I hope that's news. Um, that's just to show my appreciation over the years, establishing my channel and um, growing my, my channel and growing my subscribers, which I'm now doing. And I'm really appreciative of every single one of you guys that have subscribed and that do comment and interact with my channel and comment, you know, it's a good thing. But anyway, I think that's pretty much basically a, a, what I want to say here. Um, one other thing, I, I've been watching uh, Russell Brand, uh, his channel, and uh, he's madcap, you know. But he's interesting too. Um, and I, I, I just wanted to say, you know, like, I watch a lot of channels and whatever else, and Paul Murray and Q&R and... Q&A, I mean, and ABC and, and every other thing that you want to think of and just gets boring, you know. So it's nice to have somebody that's out there that's... He's loud, Russell Brands, loud, believe you me. Um, but, hey, he's human, he's down to our level, you know, being a, a Joe. And um, he talks about things of his past experiences, present and his future and... He's, he's pretty good to watch, so if you do come across these tubes, give him a go, and um, yeah, it's a, it's a really good thing, you know, but uh, I just thought I'd put it out there, it's a good channel to watch, and I love Paul Murray because he gets into the beef of things, he's here, here in Oz, as you guys know, but he gets into the beef of things, hi Paul Murray, hi, hi, <laughs> but anyway, so I just wanted to get stuck into a little bit of these protesters and, and let them know that they're, they're not doing anything for society and society will resent these people that go out and protest and think it's very, very, um, you know, intellectual to do this and you're going to show us and show the people and show the government you're not going to show anybody anything and um, you're going to end up being arrested and thrown in jail most probably. <laughs> But anyway, so that's all I wanted to touch base. And just to say, uh, you know, uh, give Anthony Albanese a chance. Just give him a chance. I mean, we've given every other person a chance of being a Prime Minister. Why not this one? I mean, you know, and uh, I can tell you, for a person that was, uh, you know, a reared up in uh, around Camperdown and, and that sort of thing, which I was, um, I can tell you, he's sincere, he's seen it, you know, he's seen life, he's experienced life, you know, and I believe in that, because um, it was true life, you know, so that's what you've got to think of. Has he been through life? Yeah. Will he make mistakes? Yeah, like all of us. Is he human? Yes, he is. He hides nothing, I don't think, and he's willing to work with people and put himself out there and, you know, he's got good values. So he's clung to some old values from the government, but that's a good thing. I mean, you know, you think about it, just give him a chance. But anyway, and also another thing, you guys, is masks, you know, very important because the flu's about, um, and uh, a lot of people are copying in society. Dreadful, dreadful, including myself. I got a bit of a uh, uh, uh. So remember your mask where you got to, and that it's wise are your boosters um, if you haven't had your vaccinations go and get that you know that's long been and you know done and established but your boosters masks uh, your blue shot 
get on with your flu shot, very important. But your 1.5, distance if you can, you know, cover your, your nose, cover your mouth, do that sort of thing. Sanitizer, just be aware of where you go, what you do. So, till next time from Planet Australia, please like, subscribe and comment. My four codes, respect, dignity, honour and integrity. They'll serve you well and faith, of course. And until next time, if you're uh, experiencing psychological or physical abuse, reach out to your networks, your support services. Do hope the police are, you know, getting on board with more teams out there ready to support people in domestic violence and their children and their animals, as I've said on my Jews before. Very important, but please reach out if you are. But look after yourself. And until next time, everybody, um, just have a cuppa, chill out, do the best we can, and happy boating. <laughs> and uh, yeah, until next time, look after yourself and uh, stay safe over Easter. See you, everybody. Bye.